Hey, what's up everybody? This is Florida Man Outdoor here, and today I'm bringing you my actual uh, TMS tutorial for how to set up the text messaging service um, with the Motorola XTS line radios using Astro uh, 25 CPS. I released this video a couple days ago, and I realized that I left out one of the crucial parts to making this all work. So I took that video down, I made a post on Instagram and everything about it in case somebody saw that old video and they were wondering why they couldn't get the TMS to work. Uh, so that post on Instagram should have gotten you running. Anyway, I'm redoing this video so that way you guys can actually watch this all the way through and get this system working. So like the other video, we're gonna kind of do this mostly in a top-down fashion with the tree view through Astro CPS. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come here to the radio configuration and go to radio wide. And what you have to do first is you have to configure this right here, your user information. You have to enable the ARS user login and create yourself a username here. You don't need a pin because uh, even if you set a pin, it's not needed to sign into this user. The, the pin is basically just used to set to sign you into an ARS server, which we're not using in a two-way uh, conventional fashion for most of your applications. Uh, I believe you have to have to set this uh, set to user authentication and uh, radio ID alias. This is basically enables your radio, uh, if you saw my Instagram post, uh, to display, I set the user ID alias to display the username here. So if I give somebody a radio, this name here is the name they sign into from the data user list, which we're gonna get into in just a second. Oop, let me enable that. <clears throat> That's all you have to do in your radio wide configuration. So close this. Next, you're gonna come down to your controls and your buttons. For the data button here, the best thing to do is to make this TMS for Model 3s and Model 2s. I believe this is the only thing you can do. So make this TMS so that way you don't have to add the TMS uh, to the menu selection on the radio itself. You can just press the little button that looks like a computer on your radio and it'll bring you straight to the TMS uh, you know, function uh, screen and, and menu to, to start sending texts. Next you're going to come down to, and this is the part I left out of the other video was go to your display and menu, go to menu items. You have to add user from this list. So uh, wherever it is over here, I probably, nope, there it is. You're gonna add this to this list. And then you can see this is kind of how I have my, my menu items uh, set up here. And you need user so that way you can sign in to the user that you need to use this radio for. This has to be enabled for you to sign into the user to use the TMS. Like I said, this is the part that I left out and this is very crucial. I can't believe I left it out in the last video. I'm kind of retarded. <clears throat> anyway, so that's done. Next, you're gonna come down here to the data user list and you have to configure this list with all of the radios that you might possibly have in your group and the names associated with them or the IDs associated with them. So you can see I have just a bunch of extras in here that are just, you know, phonetic alphabet that basically like haven't been used or assigned a specific person or like call sign or something. So I just went ahead and added like 13 of these and then I just changed them as needed um, in the radios. That's all you gotta do there. And then the data user list, you can actually, um, the radio will sign in to any of these users in this list. So that's why it's kind of important um, for if a, if a radio is supposed to be used by a specific user, so that way there's not like two different users in a, uh, in, in a system, you can simply, you know, like, like I was saying, you could sign into any of these users that you configure in this list, uh, which my Instagram video kind of goes over. So minimize that. I like to set up some quick text messages. I just have four set up on this radio and this code plug, just some super basic quick texts. Uh, if you have a Model 3 radio, um, in a moment, you'll I'll show you where you can set up the unlimited texting, which basically lets you, I think, uh, compose like a 
I think it's a 200 character message uh, using T9. That's all you have to do in your radio configuration tab. Next, we're gonna come to your conventional. And I know I said we were gonna work this top down, but before we get to the conventional personality, we gotta create an Astro system for using packet data. And I actually just have two Astro systems. One of them is for uh, like analog usage and stuff. I believe I, I have packet data enabled on both of them actually. So close this, my primary uh, Astro system for digital usage is my Astro system two. And what you have to do in your Astro system is you have to come over here, uh, you have to go to data, you have to enable packet data right here. These two should be auto-selected. I just use, I just leave them auto-selected. They uh, it, it works. Uh, I don't exactly know what these do, other than some some other stuff that usually probably has to do with like servers and, and things like that. Anyway, what you do have to do is come here to the packet data mode and set this to direct. And then if you have a model three. You could set this to unlimited. Like I was saying, this allows you to uh, compose custom text messages. Like I said, I think it's 180 or like 200 characters using T9 texting. If you have a Model 2, you have to do list only. And Model 2s will only let you send messages from the list and you can't change them. Next, you have to come over here to the ARS tab. You have to enable this and set this to non-server. That is all you have to do in your Astro system. So now we're actually gonna come back up to our conventional personality and we have to associate that Astro system with a conventional personality that we plan on using for, uh, for packet data. I know that, <clears throat> I know that my, uh, I have a whole bunch of personalities here because I have two FPP zones in my code plugs. One of them's a clear FPP for clear analog signals and the other FPP zone is uh, as encryption enabled through the personalities, which is, that's a whole nother thing. Anyway, I know that my general usage, like my TAC channels and stuff is personality 33. And um, you can see I have my RX signal type set to mixed mode. So the radio will receive digital and analog signals in this, uh, in this fashion. But my transmit is set to Astro for digital. I always default to low power on like most of my channel configurations. But what you're gonna come over here and do is you're gonna go to your Astro tab, enable terminal, terminal data, and then set the Astro system that you just made for your packet data, which is also the Astro system I use for digital you know, conversations. So that's all you have to do as far as your conventional personality. And then, uh, let me, let me uh, reference my layout here because I actually um, wrote one up this time instead of trying to freeform the video, which is why I left out the <laughs> the part about the display and menu and adding the, the user function to the menu. And yeah, guys, I think that's everything. Other than that, all you have to do is come to your zone channel assignment, create yourself a zone, which you know this video kind of already assumes you have pretty much your radio programmed and set up and, and, and functioning. So... If you, uh, if you already have a zone that you have for digital usage, just make sure that the personality that you associated that Astro system with is the personality you know that's associated with those channels that you wish to do packet data and digital on. And that'll pretty much get you going. Um, I said it in my uh, Instagram video, but I'll say it again here in case you guys don't follow me on Instagram. If you don't, Florida Man Outdoor, I post some content there, some shorter format stuff usually. But uh, the TMS feature, so far as I use it, is for sending messages to one radio. Um, I'm still trying to mess around with like sending group messages. Uh, as far as I could tell, um, I haven't done this yet, but it would serve to reason that if you um, went into the... Uh, let me just see. Like For instance, if you came into your uh, data user list... And then there was like multiple users that were alpha, like alpha squad, and then like bravo squad. If you send a message to alpha and there's four radios associated with that data user, you could essentially send a group message in that way. Like one person, you know, like th this person could send a message to four radios if they're associated to, to alpha, if they were all signed in as alpha, which... Don't quote me there because I'm still working on it. I'm going to have another video coming out soon. I believe the right way to send 
group text messages is going to be through talk groups, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. I need to get the time to sit down and actually try to configure the settings the right way. I've messed with it a little bit, but I just haven't had the time to really like get three or four radios in front of me, mess with all of the settings for each code plug, write all the radios and test, and then if it doesn't work, then I have to change settings and write the radios all over again and until I figure out what works. So until then, uh, go ahead and just use this. Like I said, it's for one radio to one radio. It works great, it's awesome. If you have hardware-based encryption, you can use, uh, unfortunately, you cannot use ADP, Advanced Digital, uh, Advanced Digital Privacy Encryption, for packet data. Packet data can only be encrypted with hardware-based encryption like a DES or AES hardware-based encryption. So keep that in mind. If you don't have AES set up on your radios yet or DES or some other hardware-based encryption algorithm, your packet data will technically be in the clear and could be intercepted by anybody who has you know, an appropriate SDR and demodulation software. So that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry I messed up the first video, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I got it all in this time. Uh, subscribe if you guys feel like it. Check me out on Instagram. Send me messages on Instagram and questions. I'm usually not checking the comments on YouTube. I do every now and again, so if you do comment, I'll probably get to it eventually, but Instagram is the place to get me. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.